Hello everyone, Morp here with an update from the video I put out a few days ago going over the legendary crafting changes and I am on the PTS here and uh, stay till the end of the video and I will show you some updated list of things that are available in the game and let's go over some of the questions that I've been getting in live streams and in the comment sections. So with the new cra crafting system, a legendary cores, they are still on the PTS but from what we've read, they will be uh, converted into legendary script. It's going to be a one for one. The legendary script limit has been increased by 5,000 to accommodate it. And the uh, legendary modules now are junk. And they have had their weight reduced from 0 0.25 to 0 0.15. So, and there is no limit on those. Um, the scrapping of stuff is still 40 script. And uh, when you do scrap the legendary items now at a crafting bench, there are different amounts of script that you get. It's about 10%, basically. Uh, but the... Uh, the Rusty Pick, the Legendary Module cost has been increased um, by 100, but uh, Legendary Modules are going to be much easier to get because any event that was giving modules is now going to give cores. And also, in the update, the uh, since you're going to have, have a lot more script and you're going to need a lot of stuff to scrap, the Rusty Pick is probably going to become um, a lot more important for you to go and spend your, your extra script. But definitely make sure that you are saving script. Don't go and and uh, get everything down to zero because you're definitely going to be wanting script at all times to be putting stuff on. Okay, so one question I did have was the Strangler Heart Power Armor and the Thorn and the Solar. It still does require Vault Steel and um, still as always, Power Armor cannot have the Unyielding here. So you see I crapped here and I'm just going down to show the possible ones and Vanguard, or uh, excuse me, Unyielding is not one of them. And you can see that I have, I do have unyielding unlocked. So sadly, we won't have some super awesome power armor. Um, okay, so with everything else, I'm kind of going over here, all the different things. So with all the armor that uh, you currently have, like even the secret service that when you do roll them, they come with stars. Everything's going to come without with zero stars on it, except for the named items, such as weapons that we're going to go over, which actually going to be really nice. If you wanted to get uh, particular stars but for everything the solar armor and the thorn armor you're still going to need your vault steel to craft it it will come with zero stars you'll have to put on the three random stars which will cost 15 modules for the very first time and then you can go one by one and definitely make sure to click the link at the end or down in the description for the the first video that i put out going over in better detail all this so we have the gutter here that has vampire and the Unstoppable Monster, which has the bloodied 4040 on it. And um, these will still stay with those stars on and will cost two modules. Here we have 25 AP cost. Now these, we're going to cost you two modules to craft. And uh, especially the, uh, the Assault Tron Blade and the uh, Death Claw, they require you to go and get some materials that are kind of annoying to farm. But you can just roll one, and when you go and scrap it, you'll get back those materials. So you can just roll them over and over. I'll have a clip of showing here at the end of the video how long it took me to get the bloodied and the vampire and everything. So here I'm just going over. I was I wanted to see if maybe the the uh, the stealth armor you know might have had some stars on it, but it totally didn't. Uh, that would have been cool though. But here I'm just kind of going over showing that everything is going to come with zero stars. Um, everything else is going to be pretty much normal. You know your Arctic Marine still zero stars. So um that part is not going to change and uh yeah let's see under armor i just wanted i just thought it'd be cool if magically they didn't tell us and there's stars you can put on here so yeah you can see here the solar and the thorn armor you will be able to craft it you still need your vault steel and it will still come with a r random three stars on it but now you can go and change it to get your specific stars no longer do you have to roll those over and over Okay, so well, let's cover here the some of the new stuff. This is stuff not from the season that we're currently on, but from the season before. And your list might be different. Um, a couple of these places, the uh, stuff like I knew that was on there, the, but it wasn't showing up for me because I did have it. Uh, but I'm going over here, all the different vendors, uh, showing some stuff that you can get. So most of this stuff is pretty standard, but we did have the addition of some of the really cool things like the water boiler and that kind of stuff. Over at Crater... They will now sell the cremator. Um, it, it's not up on here on my, my list because earlier in the, the thing I went and actually bought it. But you can buy the cremator, the uh, coffee tea machine, you know, the pemmican, you know, water boiler, 
field dressing at uh, Foundation, you're able to buy the weather machine for the um, Atlantic City fog, uh, which is really cool. Some additional stuff, and some of this might be different for you, whether or not you've bought stuff. I did go check out Reg's um, Alien Backpack. I actually think it's in there currently in the game. But I just kind of um, browse through here just to see. And I'll go through the whole list here just in case you guys were curious. A lot of this stuff can be bought from Minerva when Minerva is there. I will have a link to Nuke and Knight's awesome page showing Minerva's sales. Like and when they're coming up and stuff that you can go and search. Kind of plan out your, your time coming up on whether or not to come to Reg's and buy it or to wait for Minerva. And, let's see, man, Rex has so much stuff for sale. You got your thorn armor, you got uh, org glaives. And uh, so, yeah, I also came over here to Giuseppe. Obviously, Giuseppe's list is going to be uh, really different uh, because when you buy something from um, Giuseppe, it, it gets removed from the list. So I can't actually show you this list. And actually, I thought that the Strangler Heart power armor, or excuse me, I thought the Union was bugged out again. Because it wasn't showing up craftable at the bench. And I realized that I had to just go back over here and buy the plans again. But the auto axe is um, also here. The circuit breaker and the cold shoulder. And uh, the cold shoulder, I actually didn't have enough stamps to go and try it out. Um, but it, it's not re-rollable, just so you guys know. The blue moon stuff is re-rollable. Uh, they were thinking of uh, fixing that or changing that. But you can still go roll your holy fires and your altar's mark. So here from Giuseppe, you can now buy the mystery bobblehead, which because of the fact that you're going to need bobbleheads for crafting some of these mods, it's an option. And definitely keep uh, your eyes out. I will be doing a full guide on where to farm all of the items listed in the video that will be linked below or at the end of the video. And also, you can click the link down below or right up here at top to watch the live stream. I was actually on the PTS and randomly Angry Turtle popped on. I was running around with them doing... Um, I should say I was following him around. It wasn't like we were buddy, buddy, hanging out or anything. Uh, but yeah, during the live stream, we went and tested out, rolling some different stuff. And just for science, I rolled a bunch of the gutters and the unstoppable monsters and just did it until we can, I got all the, uh, the blood eat and the vampire and stuff off of them. And if you want to go check that out, definitely the link will not be down below. But well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely keep everyone updated on everything new that I do see. And I am personally excited for all this. But here, click the link for the original video and I go into better detail on all of the different things. But please let me know in the comments if you guys have any other questions or anything that you'd like me to answer or to go figure out myself and we can learn together. But uh, yeah, thank you. Obviously, you click, click like and subscribe and all that fun youtube -y stuff. And there's a link to our Discord down below if you wanted to have a more in-depth conversation. So thank you guys and we will see you in the wasteland.